Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for Far Away Paladin. Look a review. Now, make sure you follow my socials and don't forget the YouTuber things. And if you want to check out other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons over on Patreon, getting access to the full length reactions of all of the anime from fall 2021 onward. If you want to join in and become a patron, then make sure you click the link down in the description. That way you can get access to those full length reactions for the anime that I watch seasonally. And if you're interested in more exclusive, unfiltered full length reactions that won't be edited and uploaded to YouTube for quite a while for series like Made in Abyss, Tanya the Evil, Ascendance of a Bookworm, uh, The Devil is a Part-Timer, and so many more to come. We've got a tier for that. Previously in the Faraway Paladin, we got to see Will's first arc, his uh, upbringing arc, if you will. <laughs> if you will. Uh, come on, dude. We got to see that wrap up. Now we're going to see him set out for his first adventure. He has a new name. He is William G. Maryblood, and he is going to be doing things with the uh, upbringing from Mary. So a lot of the things that Mary has instilled to him as a human being, as a person, like uh, his ideals, that's gonna be taken into account. The swordsmanship that he learned, the fighting that he learned from blood, that's going to be incorporated. The magic, the, the word use that he learned from Gus, that's all gonna be used. Gus is not gone though. Uh, Mary and blood are gone, but Gus is still hovering around in that same area where Will was raised. Will definitely has at least one enemy right now, and that is Stagnate, but Stagnate is not actually around. He has 10 years before he will be fully formed again. And that is an enemy for sure. Then on the other side, he has an ally. That is Gracefield. Gracefield is the goddess that he swore an oath to. But with all that said, it's time to pick up where we left off with episode six. Okay. So Will's fighting some lizard men's. Never mind. Fought some lizard men's. That's kind of cool. He wasn't born OP so much as he was raised OP. I like that. Ooh, must be cold. Oh. 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 Is this like an actual city? My man's been walking for... Oh, no. I don't think it is like an actual city. It's abandoned again. Damn. Aw. Bill. Aw. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Uh-oh. Enemy! Oh, shit. That looks like dinner. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Chill, chill. Are oh, you taking way too long to think? They're just gonna attack. What is it? Oh, I thought it was a lady. Hmm. Okay, no, no, I think that the character is a woman, but that is a, that might be a male uh, voice actor. I mean, it could be a female voice actress, but it's, it's very like, pretty deep. I'm pretty sure they use a female. 
All right, I'm not going to be able to read all this and be able to speak. But I'm pretty sure they use a, a like a, a voice actress for Will. Like that's not a male voice actor. Like it's not a voice actor, you know. Um, it's it's a voice actress. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. And then it could be opposite with this other character. Mm, that look kind of good. I don't eat liver though, so I'm just saying. Bro, there's... <laughs> I love that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> like, damn, you're an adventurer and you lost and got lost? Damn. Damn. Oh, they use magic. Oh. That's what you think. We'll meet again, my best friend. <laughs> That's cool. Interesting. Oh, wait. Menel is trying to attack. <gasps> Menel's probably with the raiders, bro? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's a bad guy. You ain't gonna be able to kill my boy. Oh. Oh. You are not beating our boy. Don't hurt them that much, please. Okay. A warrior priest. I like that. That's interesting that he is considered a warrior priest. Oh. That's cool. I love that warrior priest. I wish more RPGs took that concept into play. Like, I know that, like, a lot of RPGs will have this, like, priest sort of character, but they don't, like, really utilize it. Or, or like... Skyrim, for example, right? Like, you have these statues you can pray to, and you get, like, a little ability, but it, it doesn't really, you know, like, it's a constant ability, which is cool, but it doesn't really, it's not like you can, like, pray for the blessings, you know, like, all the time, and then, like, it helps you out in battle or anything like that, you know? I don't know. I just think that that's a cool concept. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, like, for now, like, right now, Sure. 
For the time being, you might want to add a stipulation there. That's a good village priest. Or not village priest, but village chief. That must be his old friend. Should say these things out loud instead of just thinking them, you know? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love the fact that he's like, my mother told me this, my father told me this. And then there's Gus who's like, hey man, money can solve all your problems. I love that shit. <laughs> I'm not a man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, I love the way that he is. I'm actually really loving this, man. I find it very interesting that he is such a devote or devout believer. Of Gracefield. That's so cool. Cool. And next episode is when he takes them on. Alright, that was cool. Or maybe we'll get it in this one? We're gonna go in and wipe them out. Easy. Our boy's strong. You don't know. That was good, man. This is interesting. This is very, 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 very interesting. I gotta say. I gotta say, I am intrigued by this series now. You know, this series hadn't really picked up, so it wasn't really up there in terms of like, oh, I'm so excited for this anime, this isekai specifically, because we've got a couple of isekai this uh, go around, you know, this anime season. And this one wasn't, it was just kind of slow. So it was a little bit back and I, you know, it was down on my list in terms of how interested in, our, in it I was. You know, I had other ones above it, but after the most recent episode of another isekai kind of turned me off from the series. Yeah, what, what other isekai are there? Well, okay, there are a few with fantasy because I don't think it's all isekai, you know, like Banished from the Heroes Party, that's not isekai. I'm not watching it though. I know everybody's like, hey, you should watch this really cute, wholesome. I probably will, just give me some time. I do, however, watch uh, Shinka no Mi. And then of course there's uh, World's Finest Assassin and we've got Faraway Paladin. This episode specifically, I am intrigued now. I like the fact that he's going around and doing what he said he would do. You know, he is, he's sworn his oath to Gracefield and he is freeing souls. You know, that is his goal to free souls, to make these prayers, to, to, to be devout and also protect people. And honestly, man, he's just doing a good job. I, I like it. This episode was about him trying to find people, any people. And he does encounter a hunter while being attacked by a boar. He kills this boar, basically makes it his his hunt, I guess. It, it, you know, it's his kill because he kills the boar. So then it is no longer the hunters. It is now his, but they decide to split it. They come up to, a, to an agreement, finds out that, you know, in the middle of the night after some praying, finds out that the hunter is going to be involved in in a village being attacked and he knows that his village the hunter's village is nearby and so he goes in that direction to go find the hunter only thing is the hunter is not part of the village that is being attacked but rather part of the group that is attacking the village so with that in mind he protects the people stops the hunter as well as the hunter's group from killing everybody in that village and stealing from them by the morning they speak with these uh, invaders and find out what's going on. Now they're from a neighboring village. Their village has been destroyed by demons. 
So our boy, in his mind, he's like, okay, well, I need to save these people because I wouldn't be doing my due diligence as a follower of Gracefield and fulfilling my oath to her if I do not save these people. And I've learned these things. I've learned from Mary. She's told me this. I've learned from Blood, and he's told me this. And I've learned from Gus. And Gus said, money can buy everything. And so he, he he's like, now, can I stop you from killing these people if I give you money? And so now he has a new goal of clearing out the demons from that neighboring village, saving anybody that's left, and of course, moving those souls on, you know, making the prayer to, to, to free those souls from the shackles of being undead or, you know, demons, whatever have you. And he now has that hunter on his side to do that. He will be paying the hunter. I am intrigued to see how this goes forward. I could have sworn that the hunter was a woman. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the hunter is a man. I don't know. That's just very like fantasy female attire, like showing off most of, of the upper chest clavicle sort of area. A lot of that's being shown, just saying. And then of course the pants are, they kind of look like, I don't know. You know how like they've got like those old time, like medieval dresses and then underneath there, they got those little poofy type of pants that act as like undergarments. That's kind of like what their under their their pants look like. So I don't know, man. I, I don't know if it's like an Elvin style or if it's because the hunter is actually a woman, but that's a deep voice. With that said though, William, our boy Bill, he got a pretty high pitch voice. So who knows? I am, however, looking forward to the next episode. So from here, I want to know what you all thought of this episode. Do you feel like it was adapted properly? Are you intrigued now? I, I do find this concept, this warrior priest concept, very interesting. Does anybody else really like that concept? I think it's pretty dope. Uh, so leave a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode type of reactions. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.